Kama Itachi, I am summoning you guys. It relit. I swear to God on my life, I didn't relay that. What up, fams? Hope you guys are having the most blessed day in your entire lives. I got my boy Max right beside me. Today, we're going to be doing something new and something interesting. We're going to try to summon some vengeful Japanese spirits. I've been reading a lot about these Japanese myths and these spirits, so I figured we could try to summon some of them. I think it'll be pretty fun. See what will happen. I know Max is down because, you know, he's always down to do some silly stuff with us. But before we start that video, I need you guys to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Check me out on libraries and then comment down below. Comment before watching the full video. Like the video and then obviously subscribe. Turn on post notifications and we're going to read some fan mail before we get started. All right, there's no name or return address on this one here. Come on. Come on. All right, our first piece of fan mail. Dear Mr. Humani, my name is Dennis and I'm 15 and I hope you like this picture. It is a Christmas tree and I like your videos and you are a great YouTuber. Please, I hope you have a blessed year of your entire life. Good luck in the future. Have a good time. And it's a wonderful picture of a Christmas tree. Thank you so much, Dennis. I really appreciate this. This is very nice. I really appreciate that, Dennis. I hope you have a great year yourself, my friend. This here is from... Janaries LeBron from Jacksonville, Florida. Oh wow, this is long. Oh, this guy, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure she just wrote me my vows. Marriage is a commitment. It, its success doesn't depend on circumstances, feeling, or moods, but two people who are loyal to each other and the vows they took on their wedding day. A relationship where two people must listen, compromise, and respect. Congratulations, Ali and Emma. We wish you lots of happiness, love, Janaries and Jared. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate that. That's super sweet of you guys to write us this wonderful letter. I'm putting this with all my collection stuff. Now, next is this one here. This is from Seattle. Happy New Year 2018. Oh, and $5 American? What? Thank you. Maria Pine, you're the best. Good times and happy times. May they be yours and all through the coming new year. From the moment it starts to the moment through, hope the new year brings nothing but good things to you. Thank you so much. That's super cool. I'm actually putting this $5 right on my play button right here. That's super sweet of you. Thank you so much. Um, and this as well, as well as the picture I'm going with my collection stuff. Thank you guys so much. Now, I'm gonna wait till 3 a.m. to get back to you guys on this video because I wanna do this in the most scary way possible. So I'll check back with you guys in about four hours. All right guys, so it's just past 3 a.m. Um, I figured we could summon the Kamachi, Kamaitashi. They're called the Kamaitashi, they're triplets. And apparently this is what they do, I'm reading it here. Kamatachi literally means sick weasel. There are three of them, sometimes brothers, sometimes triplets, who go around cutting off people's legs. The first weasel knocks someone down, the second one cuts off their legs, and the third one sews up the, the wounds. They move so fast, basically people blink, and then suddenly they have no legs. That's literally probably the most scary thing I've ever read. So, sorry, Max is trying to play with the cat right now. That's what you hear in the background. It's not a ghost, it's Max. So I'm thinking we can try to summon these. I've heard some people summoning ghosts by writing their names on pieces of paper and then lighting them up. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do to summon these guys because they do seem pretty scary. Um, I don't know how I would escape them, but I mean, Max is for some reason hiding under the bed right now. Legit, I swear to God. Look at this. He's, he's trying to crawl under the bed. What are you doing, Max? <laughs> he's so cute, man. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna try to summon these guys. Um, I don't know what'll happen, to be honest. This is really spooky. I've never dealt with anything like this before. Uh, apparently these Japanese spears are very, very vengeful. Uh, first off, I want to apologize if I offend anybody if I'm doing these kind of things. Really sorry, but I thought it'd be really cool to do. Um, and I don't think anybody's done it yet, so I, I figured it would be fun to try. Um, so, Kama, Kama Itashi. So I'm gonna write Kama Itashi. If you guys can see here, I have written it 
in English and in Japanese. I know my Japanese handwriting isn't the best, but that's the best I can do with such short notice. Um, so I got my garbage bin right here. So we're gonna light this and just drop it in the bin. And obviously we're gonna pour water on top of it later. But hopefully this is a way that we can summon them. I've never tried this before to summon something. Um, so this should be interesting. If I die, just know I love you guys so much. And Max, Max, what are you eating? He's always eating something, man. All right, Kama Yatashi, I am summoning you guys. All right, this is gonna be spooky. All right, so I've lit it up and then obviously I have to pour some water into it because you obviously don't want to start a fire. Ugh. Um, guys, legit, it re legit. I swear to God, it just relit. And I had to put it in the bathtub, but that shit relit. I swear to God, in my life, I didn't relit that. Yo, and I'm literally pouring water on it and it's not, it's not burning. It's not pouring out. I'm literally pouring water straight on it and the fire is not stopping. What the f Admittedly, that was an awful idea. I literally dropped the thing, lit it in the bin. I put out, put it out. You guys saw me put water on it and it relit. Oh yeah. And I literally poured water on it and it would not go out. So I'm gonna leave that running in there. Not even like a minute after lighting that thing and putting it out, it burst back into flames. I'm gonna keep the footage of it rolling. I'm just gonna fast forward it through so you guys could have seen that. But literally, went up into flames and wouldn't go out. I literally was recording it and it, the water was pouring on it and it was not going out. That was messed up, dude. Like, I swear to God that I didn't really like that or anything, honest to God, on my life. Oh my God. This is already a bad idea, okay. So I'm gonna turn off all the lights and we're gonna go around the house, um, trying to see if Kame Itachi can, can, can find us or something, you know what I mean? Like, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay guys, so we're gonna start wandering around the house now. The only lights I have is this light right here. Super tripped out, but I think first we should probably look around my room to see if we can find anything. Kamichi! Kamichi! All you guys can see right now is my dirty ass closet. Kamichi! Max, where'd Max go? Uh, no. no, Max. We have Kovu here. This is actually super trippy because I haven't done a video like this in a while, so I'm kind of spooked. Kamichi. Kamichi. First off, if you guys see anything, I need you guys to comment it down below. If you guys hear anything, I need you guys to comment down below because you guys are my eyes and my ears right now. You guys know that, so I need you guys for this. It's you guys and me trying to see if we can summon these Japanese spirits and try to make them as angry as we can because that's what we do. Um, 
I literally can't see anything with this stuff if I don't have my my light on. Um, oh fuck, I'm super tripped out right now. All right, so guys, you guys are my eyes and my ears. Also, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Kamichi. Kamichi. This is a Coke bottle. Kimichi. What the fuck? What the fuck? Guys, that literally just fell over. Literally all by itself. What the Was a cat around here? Kovu! Did the cat knock that over? Kovu! Kovu! Was that Max that knocked it over? No, Max is, Max is downstairs in the basement with my brother and his girlfriend. Kovu! Did you knock that over? Was that you? What do you look so afraid for? Something knocked that over. I don't know if it was my cat or it was Kamichi. Something knocked that over. Oh! Ow! Okay. Nope. I literally just tripped. But. What the fudge? Okay. Guys, I'm pretty sure my cat just knocked that down. But I don't remember seeing him there. But, anyways, whatever. Um. Kamichi. Guys, I don't. I don't see anything. I don't know if we did this right or not. But maybe we have to go outside to find it. Maybe that's what we'll do. We should probably go outside. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put on my shoes. I'm gonna go ahead outside. Okay guys, so I couldn't find any Kamichi inside my house. Again, there's supposed to be three of them. I couldn't find any of them. None of them, nothing happened to me there. Like the, the vacuum fell over. I didn't see what knocked it over, but I think it was my cat. So I'm not super like worried about that. So I figured, I think the best thing to do would be try to see if we can encounter these things on the 11 mile road doing the 11 mile challenge so i've already done the necessary precautions to start the 11 mile challenge now we're just going to go out and drive and see if we can find the 11 mile road and then we're going to see if we can spot these um japanese spirits and again if i offend anybody with these japanese spirits i'm really really sorry that is not my intention i just read a lot about these japanese spirits and myths that i really want to see if they're legit so Without further ado, let's look for these spirits. Also guys, like I said before, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. And then check me out on Live Rays. Turn on post notifications, like, and subscribe. That way you can enter yourself to win the $100 Amazon gift card. It's 300 bucks. Just a quick update for you guys. I've been driving for about 20 minutes and I still have not seen anything. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully we can come up on the 11 mile road soon. Okay guys, I think I found the road because I've been driving for a while now and I just feel compelled to this road right now. And if you guys remember, to do the challenge you have to really want something and what I want right now is to find the Kamichi. So I came here all alone, all by myself. As you can see, the car is empty. Uh, wow, I literally gotta turn on my high beams just to be able to see. But again, um, we're gonna slow down just to I'm gonna put on my four ways. We're gonna slow down and See what we can happen right now Because See what we can find right now Because I don't want to miss these things. I don't know if they're gonna be hiding around the side of the road or something So yeah, I've only been here done this challenge once and that was with Danny So like I don't know how I feel about being uh, Doing this by myself. It's it's kind of frightening you know what I mean? And it, like, th there's a lot of fog right now. So I have my fog lights on, I'm going super slow, but I can't really see what's in front of me. I'm, I'm sure you guys can probably see better with the camera, but my eyes aren't meant to deal with this kind of things. I can't even see anything right now, so I'm, I'm gonna keep going super slow. But yeah, I'm, I'm super worried. I'm super scared right now. <sighs> okay, guys. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Guys, I'm like 95% sure we just hit something. Like, I'm pretty sure we hit something. I literally just 
hit something. I felt the car hit something, literally. Fuck. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, we're gonna get out of the car right now. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Oh my god. Guys, what are we gonna do? Something. Okay, we're gonna go over and see what, see what there is. Okay guys, we're in the middle. I have my four ways on right now. That's that light back there, but we're in the middle of the 11 mile road right now. And I hit something. But I, I don't see a trail or anything. <sighs> oh. okay. Guys, I don't see what I hit. It was about a like less than a hundred meters back. What did I hit? There's literally nothing. There's no blood on the road or anything. I can't find anything. Did you guys hear that? No? Guys, this is super fucking scary right now. My light doesn't even shine, but it's there. I, I don't know, I feel like I'm being watched or something. That moon is super trippy right now too. But guys, I literally, I literally can't find anything. I, I, I hit something, I know I hit something, but I, I can't see anything, I can't find anything. And there's nothing on the road. Um, I'm gonna... Okay guys, I'm starting to hear things. I'm gonna go back to the car. I know I'm not supposed to get out of the car on the 11 mile challenge, but I swear to God I'm hearing something from over there. Okay, we're gonna check the front of the car, see if there's any damage. No, we're not checking shit, we're getting back in the car. Guys. Guys, I swear to God, I'm absolutely terrified right now. I swear to God on my life. We literally hit something and there's something out there right now. I swear to God. Okay, no, we're getting here. Come on. What the hell? I swear to God, there was something there. Guys. The car literally just revved and then went and start. No, 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 no. The brake, I am pressing the brake. No, 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 let's go. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, no. It literally just revved and then turned off. We're still on the road. It's been about 25 minutes since I left the spot where I thought it had hit. Oh my god, there's a person right there. What the fuck was that? Literally, there was somebody. Okay, guys, I'm losing my mind right now. I swear to god. There was no way there was somebody out there walking at this time. What the fuck is going on, man? What is this? Guys, I have no idea where I am. I'm, I'm lost on this road. This 11 mile road literally got me lost. Okay guys, I've pulled over again. I have no cell service. Like no data service. I have cell towers. I can probably make calls, but I have no, literally no data. No data service at all. I can't GPS my way back right now. I don't know where I'm going. And there's these, I'm 95% sure these demon things are after me right now. I literally saw somebody on the side of the road. Literally, I swear to God. And I hit something, man. I'm pretty sure I hit something. I know I hit something. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do, man? Bro, what am I gonna do? Oh my God. Oh man, oh my God, what's happening now? No, what is this? No. Why is this thing tripping out now? Why are you tripping out? God, literally all my gear right now is tripping out, legit. All the electronics in my car just going out of whack. I don't know what I'm doing.
I'm just gonna keep driving until I can find my way home, hopefully. Okay guys, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm still lost on this road and my camera is about to die. It's getting all blurry all the time. Every single time I record, it gets super, super blurry. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But it's really, really starting to, to irk me, man. I'm getting spooked. I don't know what to do. Oh my God, yo, that's that dude again. That's that guy walking all over again. What the f How? We've been driving in the same direction for like another 15 minutes. How is that same dude walking still? Oh, we saw the same guy walking still the same direction coming towards us but we've been going straight this entire time this isn't making sense to me it honestly isn't i don't know what the hell is going on i i, I just want to go home i want to retrace my steps i think that's what i'm going to do but there's no way that dude is still walking in the same direction towards us after we passed him that doesn't make sense it's four o'clock in the morning now um and i think this road looks familiar I recognize some of these landmarks, like these uh, these signs coming up. I do recognize those. So I think this is the right way to go. I'm still so confused as to what the hell is going on. Um, I'll talk to you guys when I get back to my house, hopefully. Okay, guys, after literally forever, I finally made it back home. Oh, I gotta open the door. Where are my keys? literally feels like forever. I'm gonna be super quiet now. What? What? I thought you played with Max upstairs. I wasn't playing with Max upstairs. Who were you? Wait, so who do you, who's playing upstairs with Max? Who's playing upstairs with Max? You. Okay guys, one second. My mom says I'm upstairs playing with Max. There's somebody in my room. Hello? Hello? It's just as dirty as I left it before, but there's nobody here. Max? I don't, I don't understand. Okay guys, um, honestly I'm super tripped out right now because this doesn't make sense to me. My mom says she didn't realize I was even gone because apparently I was upstairs playing with Max. She heard me, she didn't see me playing with Max. She heard someone playing with Max. She assumed it was me. Um, I, that doesn't make sense to me at all. I think there might be something going on, so I need you guys to, to help me out here. I need you guys to let me know if you guys know any ways to like rid whatever I might have accidentally brought in here, if that makes sense. I don't even know if what I'm saying makes sense, to be honest. Like, I feel like I'm going crazy. Like, I, I feel like I was hearing things when I was out there on the drive. Um, and then my mom was hearing me playing with Max, but I wasn't here. I was out there. This doesn't make sense to me at all. I'm, I'm honestly really, really frightened. Uh, I don't know what to do at all. I, like, I, I, I'm at a loss for words, to, to, to say the least. I don't know, man. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to figure. I'm gonna have to figure something out. I don't know, to be honest. I do want to give you guys a whole bunch of shoutouts right now, because you guys are great, and I wouldn't be here without you guys. So, without further ado, we're gonna give some Instagram shoutouts, then we're gonna do some Twitter shoutouts, and then. Possibly some snapchat shout outs, okay, and we're gonna shout out the last people who commented. So let's start from here Shout out to Arianda Shout out to everybody here. If you guys see your name here, please comment down below. We're shouting out everyone here So big shout out to all you guys. I love you guys so much I literally wouldn't be here without you guys. You guys have made me who I am today So I want to say I love every single one of you every single person here Steph Curry 16 you are too sane. Thank you my fam I appreciate that. I love you guys so much. Every single one of you. Alexius Jackson, you are currently the last person to comment, so you're going to get a like. Oh, and Hot Melinda gets a like too. Now we're going to go to Twitter. We're almost at 17,000 on Twitter. Um, let's shout out everybody who retweeted my merch link. So shout out to everybody here. 
I love you all. You guys are all fantastic people. Thank you guys for tweeting out my merch link. I love you. Every single one of you. You guys mean the world to me. Yeah, I retweet my own stuff. I know. I'm a loser like that. Hey, let's give some Snapchat shoutouts. So let's take a look at who saw my last story. All right. So let's see. You guys can get Snapchat shoutouts for viewing my last story. So... Shout out to everybody here who saw my last story. I love you guys. Big shout out to everybody who watched my last story. You guys are fantastic. I love you guys so much. Like every single one of you. All right guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. I gotta get some sleep because I have to work in a few hours. So I really need that sleep. But I just wanna say I love you guys all. Um, I'm probably gonna head to the gym actually, even though I should be sleeping. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna head to the gym, then I'm gonna go to work. So I love you guys all. Thank you for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Live Rays, and then check me out by turning on post notifications. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. It feels right. It feels right. It feels right.